Tonight on 11 Alive, debt is piling up for parents of public school students struggling to pay for their lunches, and the districts are shouldering the burden. We started looking into the money after Decatur City School said it is in $88,000 worth of lunch debt since 2022. And starting next week, students with unpaid balances will be given an alternative meal of a cheese sandwich. 88 grand seems like a lot, but we found out it's actually in the middle of the pack when compared to other Metro Atlanta school districts. DeKalb County Public Schools is about $37,000 in lunch debt. Cobb County is reporting $68,000. For Atlanta Public Schools, this year's school lunch debt is sitting at more than $186,000. But if you add it all up, since 2019, it's sitting at over a million dollars. Tonight, there are many groups all across the community working to make sure children are getting a nutritious lunch without any of the shame of alternative meals or paying off the debt. And while Gwinnett County Schools hasn't gotten back with us about its total lunch debt, there's one group raising thousands in donations. Freedom Church of Gwinnett says it has raised $7,000, and that money will go directly to student lunch debt at at least a dozen schools in their area. To have people come together, we can do so much more in this entire world if we can just model that and, and just help people. We're we'll trying to keep communication going with the schools. And so as we are able to raise monies and things of that nature, we'll, we'll give as we're able to. According to the Georgia Department of Education for the current school year, about 64 percent of K through 12 students in the state qualify for free or reduced meals. We'll have a link to the qualifications for this program inside this story on 11alive.com.